Hi guys, how's it going today? Good, thank you. Good. How's, how's, how's he been today? Is he uh, in a good mood or...? Well, it's difficult to tell, isn't it? That's part of the problem here. <laughs> Has he not described his facial expressions yet? No. How are you doing? So, <laughs> what's it like? You are. What is it like working with Frank? I mean, uh, in general, in the movie, obviously, it seems like it's a roller coaster ride. Uh, it's amazing because you can't. I, I loved every second of it, but it's funny because you just don't know what's going to come next because there's no clue. You don't see his face change right before he does something, so anything right. can happen. Anything can happen. Yeah, like, like you could just bang his head into the microphone. Or... <laughs> you want to? Ah. Oh. <laughs> The mask I was <laughs> wondering how long I was gonna go on. Yeah. <laughs> um, Michael, it looks like it looked like you were having a blast in the movie, from what I could tell. Um, is it sort of freeing as an actor when you have that that giant head on? You can kind of just let loose. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, it was no. It's, it, it. I think you know, in all purposes, it, it sort of helped all of that, you know. Um, I, hopefully it helped the others as much as it helped me, because when I put it on, I, yeah, there was definitely an anarchic streak that came when I put the head on, and also the, plenty of mischief. And that, I think, you know, they, they were two important characteristics in, this, in the character, Frank. So, absolutely it helped. Is that the kind of thing where you put it on and you're like in the zone now? You're you're in Frank's head. No, I was just like you know, okay, let's start fucking with people. <laughs> uh, I can see that. <laughs> exactly. For you, like, is there any challenge as an actor working opposite this this giant head, or is it sort of just the same as it would be any other performance? Um, I think it's just an extra element of fun added into the scene. It's it's it you know so. Everything is lifted immediately. When you look over, when they say we're getting ready to go, and Michael puts the head on, you're like, "Oh God, I, you know, what's going to happen?" And that's just that's what that's what it should be going into every take. And sometimes I think I forget that. And that, so, in a way, it was a really good thing to learn that really before everyone, you shouldn't know what's going to happen ever at the start of a take. And we don't get to see you do <clears throat> much comedy. And that must have been liberating as well. Yes, I, I yeah, I, I, you know, I, I love. Um, comedy and it's also a very I think effective way of really kind of leading uh, an audience down many paths not just a comedic one you know if you make people uh, laugh um, their guard is down more so then you can take them to um, moments that perhaps are, are a little sadder or a little bit more touching uh, it's, it's, it's a great device for doing that um, because when people laugh they open up and they're more willing to go somewhere. So I try to bring comedy into things, even even if I'm, I'm doing something that's quite dark. Is it more fun, I guess, as, as an actor to do a movie like this that's very kind of loose and indie as opposed to, like, say, a big budget, you know, sci-fi epic or something like that? Is it more fun? Yeah. Um, it depends, you know, it depends if if you're getting along, you know, it depends if there's a good relationship with the director, depends if there's a good relationship with the actors mm -hmm. in a small film or a big one. If that's not there, then it's not fun. But, uh, you know, um, Lenny is a fantastic filmmaker. I was a fan of his work beforehand. Mm -hmm. These guys are amazing. <coughs> so, yeah, we had a blast. I mean, and I think, you know, the trust elements between us all were, were, were very strong. So you're allowed to sort of... Um, provoke one another in the scenes without necessarily talking about it beforehand or as Donald was saying to, to feel like anything could happen but in order to do that you have to trust your co co-workers so I think we had a lot of fun and then you know bigger films just means that they move slower you know and so there is a, also a fun element to like you know let's say you know doing a scene that's got 15 pages you know or whatever it is you know moving at that speed I do like to move fast you know and, you know, speaking move of big, big... Like <laughs> go, go, nice. go, get at it. Um, speaking of big budget franchise movies, you're in one I hear uh, right now. Are you prepared... Yeah, I, do, you, do you not read the internet? Yeah. Um, 
Like are I'll, you I'll bigger, like bigger, I'll bigger than the ones you've been in? Whoa! Well, really? Bigger than Frank? Don't say even. that. <laughs> don't say that. It's got, it got serious. No, that, that's fine. Don't it's say that. Probably bigger, but it's not. Probably. Too. Probably. Oh, but just as a. <laughs> I think this is just gonna turn into something. Some <laughs> serious. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's gonna kick the shit out of me. What's your go? Yeah. Go on. I was just gonna ask. <laughs> bigger? <laughs> how? How much bigger? <laughs> Who's bigger? <laughs> Talk to me in here. Um, just for you as a person. I mean, what has it been like dealing with the hype and the attention? I mean, is it life changing a little bit, or do you kind of go about it the same as? You know? It's the same. It's exactly what Michael was saying before. It's just, it's our job to to be in stories, like that's what we do. And sometimes they spend more money telling the stories than other times, but it doesn't change like what we're supposed to do. And so you know, I think it's exactly the same and it hasn't changed my life, you know. It will though. No? When you find your, you're gonna have a little Star Wars figure. Oh, we let the cat out of the bag. That be, that's the movie that he's cool. in. That would be cool, yeah. Is that the movie? <laughs> yeah. Huh? It's not Star Wars, is it? 